We first reported on August 17th that there were negative 11 ICU beds in the state of Alabama. And now we have rose to negative 120 beds. But what does that mean for hospitals, their staff, or even you? We'll have those answers tonight. I'm Julia Smith. I spoke with State Health Officer Dr. Karen Landers asking these exact questions. What will happen if these numbers continue to grow? We're joined now by State Health Officer Dr. Karen Landers. Dr. Landers, I want to talk about the intensive care units right now. We're at a negative 120 beds. How is that affecting the hospitals? Well, of course, being a physician and working in public health, I am aware that hospitals have surge plans, surge capacity. And in this particular situation, something that we've never seen before uh, in modern medicine with this pandemic, that hospitals are basically rendering ICU type care. Now that has to be putting a stress on all your healthcare workers. Is this amount of numbers of beds that are in the negative zone, is that affecting your emergency plan? Absolutely. We can't keep putting our healthcare workers through this. And also, it's very, very real that if you have another medical condition that requires intensive care, or if there's a trauma and you require intensive care, I mean, you're very likely not going to be able to get into a bed in an intensive care unit, and you're going to be uh, having to work through the situation, as I said, like having intensive care rendered to a patient, but that's in the emergency room. And again, while we might be able to find space and we might be able to find stuff, we can't necessarily find staff. So in the long run, will we ever be seeing people being transported to hospitals even out of the state if they can't even be seen here in Alabama? Well, certainly there are what's called uh, MOUs and mutual aid agreements among states in any situation of this nature. And while I don't have individual data on that, I know that there can be circumstances, depending on where you are, that you might transport a patient to a different state or you might receive a patient, Alabama might receive a patient from another state. But keep in mind, the states around us are having a very, very similar experience to what we have. The community spread is very high in Alabama right now.